Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome back to another Dragtoon video. This is your boy Mars. Today, I got for you guys top five sleeper cars that <laughs> that I know that I know are pretty quick. Um, got some pretty good, nice power into them. And also now adding the new anti-lag system. Had to make a video for you guys with the sleeper video. I know you how much you guys like the, the cars and everything like that. So, like always, everybody new to the channel. Uh, subscribe in there let's get right to it as you guys see in the background starting off with my first sleeper car is this thing right here the 74 Holden Sandman this thing here um, you can drop 1700 horsepower all-wheel drive and it is very weird looking and also very quick as well with the <laughs> with the paint job that I got on here as well um, but as you guys see you can put a lot of inches into it we got 1750 there, all-wheel drive, and this thing here is super, super, super quick with the 1400 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Weighs only 2800 pounds, um, so yes, can't go wrong with that. Also, as you guys see, all-wheel drive it, and then we're not going to do nothing with us with that wide body kit, which also is not even really a wide body kit. But now we got the new Andy Lang system, and it just makes these cars super, super dope. <laughs> to have and uh yeah sleeper 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 very sleeper of a vehicle you bring this thing out a lot of people don't even know what the heck is going on with this thing so that is that that's all there is to put it's just the upgrades there for the turbo besides that we are going to put rally on the suspension as you guys saw the rest of the parts of course full weight reduction no roll cage inside of it and then we're going to put the rest of the parts here right so very easy and simple now we're going to go right over here to the drivetrain or the transmission we're going to put all the parts that you see on here just to make it that easy and then we're going to go right to the tires of course make sure to put the correct drag tires which is these do not put semi slicks make sure to put those no width in the front and then we got full width in the rear there at 215 not even that wide in the back with 1700 horsepower that is insane um, let's go right over here to the rims uh, make sure to pick the rims that you guys want that are super light got those on there very very light wheels uh, besides that nothing with the size at all and uh, yeah that sums it up for this car here with the bill let's go right to the tune remember there's gonna be five cars they're all in different order there's like no particular order with them uh, here we go guys with the tune 1515 tire pressure first final drive here is 220 first gear is 240 then we got second gear 180 140 110 and 0 .90. real nice there you can take a screenshot let's go over here everything is zeroed out in seven one and one stiff in the front soft in the rear and the vehicle raised all the way up and then we got 14 14 2 and 2 nothing with this or this and 100 0 100 0 and 75 so let's bring this thing outside to the quarter mile or actually the half a mile and see what it does here we go guys we are here with the sandman look at this thing this thing looks crazy it just looks so crazy and funny and people are really gonna just think that this is a sleeper this is a hundred percent a sleeper people that want to beat this uh, but yes they, they they're probably gonna find out pretty soon that you cannot beat this car that quick um, but yeah e-brake gas and clutch the car is gonna be an e-brake gas and clutch too all you gotta do is press the e-brake, the gas, and the clutch. Get the RPMs to go higher. And uh, yeah, make sure to burn out the tires, guys. Make sure to get them spinning. Get those tires nice and hot every time you bring a vehicle out. So let's do uh, do with another pass here. So to get the tires hot on all-wheel drive, you just go forward and back. Very easy. And to launch the car, make sure to do e-brake gas. Once you do the e-brake and gas, the needle shoots up. When you see that needle shoot up like that, then you press down the clutch. So, Or you can tap on the clutch when you press the e-brake and gas, and it'll get higher there at 22 pounds of boost. Torque is 851 uh, on the torque, and then you just let go of those two. Now that the tires are hot, as you guys see, the car will grip a lot more there, making it really, really nice. 1,700 horsepower in this thing makes no sense at all. That's why it makes it such a nice sleeper there to have this kind of power and such a weird looking vehicle and uh, yeah makes it really really nice so yeah let's go to the number two car let's go to that number two car 
Alrighty guys, and at number two we got here the Volvo 850R. Another another sleeper vehicle that a lot of people probably don't even be using as much. And uh, this just makes it so funny because I think you can put around 1300 horsepower on this. All wheel drive makes it super super quick. And now we got the new anti-lag system so it uh, just makes it even more faster. So this is the, uh, the 1997 Volvo. 850R. Let's go over here to the upgrade. Let's go right over here to the custom upgrade. Let's go in here. And as you guys see, we got a couple engines to put in there. 1200 horsepower. Well, yeah, we're almost right at we're at 13. Uh, there with the uh, racing 2JZ engine. Can't go wrong with that. And of course, let's do the all-wheel drive system in it. This thing does come front-wheel drive, which is pretty weird. Uh, let's fully built it on here. Let's just slap on the parts, race very easy as you guys see and then let's back out let's go over here and let's gonna put rally on the suspension of course the rest of the parts are just going to be race and no row cage no row cage at all and of course you guys saw full weight reduction on the vehicle now let's go right over here we're going to put that stock only there then we got race and race on that part there as well let's go to the tires on the tires of course the drag tires no width in the front We've got full width there in the rear at 245s. Uh, any um, wheels you guys want that are just super light. Got these uh, hose shots on there. Real nice drag looking wheels on it. Of course, that's the only thing that looks like that is not a sleeper. It's the wheel setup. And besides that, there is no... Oh yeah, you can take off this little tiny spoiler that it comes there in the back uh, to reduce some weight. It's like 5 pounds or so. And let's go right over here to the tune, guys. We got 15 15 tire pressure. Final drive is 220. First gear is 375. We got uh, second gear at 260. Third gear is 190. Fourth gear is 140. 110. And one. Then we go over here, zero everything out in seven. One and one. Then stiff in the front, soft in the rear. Vehicle raise all the way up. We got 14 14, one and one. Nothing with this or this, and 100, 0, 100, 0, 80. That'll be it. Let's go outside to the half a mile and see what it does. Here we go, guys. We are in the half a mile. Let's get these tires hot. Remember, forward and front. Forward and uh, <laughs> reverse and forward burnouts. Get these tires hot there. There you go. That suspension is soft through there towards the rear, so all that power can stay in the back end. Remember, e brake, gas, and clutch. We are at 23 pounds of boost, 454 on that torque. Let go of those two buttons. There you go, guys. See how the car grips really nice. Pops every single shift. And then you got the top out there on that port here at 207 miles per hour. You can probably do 208 on it. Uh, real quickly, let me show you guys my settings so you guys can have the same settings as me. Make sure to turn everything off, um, even the launch control. I think uh, I think I have like one car that does it, but majority of the cars are not going to be using launch control, guys. Um, it's uh, just a lot of people don't. Uh, it just doesn't fit that good. The way the car launches, it makes the car be very sporadic and don't like it. Make sure to be on the steering on standard. Simulation steering does make your cars spin on rear wheel drives. Manual clutch, of course, with that shifting there. And now let's do one more pass, and then we're going to go to that number three car. E-brake gas. Watch that needle shoot up. Got all three buttons pressed down, the e-brake, the gas, and the clutch. Let go of that. So I didn't do the tires warm. Uh, I didn't get them warm there. You guys saw the cars spun a little bit. Still hooked, though. Check out this paint job, man. Got the wood on the side. Pretty, pretty dope. Got a 2JZ engine in a Volvo. 850. What the Let's go to that number three car, guys. Let's go to number three. And at number three, guys, we got this little Jeep here in the background with a huge engine. And also, you can do the big tire in this car. This is the uh, CJ5 Renegade. Nice little tiny Jeep. As you guys see the back tire, how big it is. Uh, so you can do the back tire option to make that back tire big. It's a 1976 Jeep CJ5 Renegade. Let's go right over here as you guys show you guys the engines you can put in this thing. Um, so as you guys see, you got all these engines to put in there. 1356 on that power, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs only a thousand pounds. Is is insane. All-wheel drive, 
on a Jeep. Such a such a sleeper vehicle, guys. You can't you can't really go wrong on this thing. It comes all wheel drive. Let's put in the twin turbos with the anti lag there. Let's go right over here to the build, and we're just gonna pretty much put all the parts race. Nothing fancy or weird to put on here. Just everything race. Now we got the new anti lag system. In it. You imagine this Jeep pull right next to you with the wheel set up and the, the sound of the engine. You guys would be insane about it. Make sure to put all the uh, parts there you guys see. Rally on the suspension, of course, full weight reduction, no row cage, and all these good parts. And I'll just go right over here. Same old uh, parts as you guys see. Everything is just race. As you guys see there, it makes it easy. And let's go over here to the tires, of course. Drag tires, you want it to, to, to grip. If not, it's not going to go nowhere. No width in the front, full width in the rear. And then any wheels you guys want that are super light, slap those in there as well. Make this thing even lighter. And as you guys see, huge wheels in the back. Look at those things. Just pop up inflation in the back there. Big boy wheels in the back. Super proper drag setup there. And then if you guys want, uh, make sure to take off that uh, tire on here in the back. You got a little tire there. So take the tire off. We do some more weight on there as well. So this thing, honestly, will spin first gear uh, towards the ending of first gear. Or actually, kind of in the middle of first gear. And it also grips at the same time. It's pretty funny. 15-15 tire pressure. Final drive is 220. First gear is only 240. Then the second gear is 185, 145, and 120. Only four gears, guys. That's all you need. Four gears. Zero everything out in seven. One and one. Stiff in the front, soft in the rear, and the vehicle dropped all the way to the ground. Just trying to get this thing to grip. Then 12, 12, one and one. Nothing with this or this. 100, zero, 100, zero, and 70. So a lot of that power still going to the back of the wheels. Let's go outside, take it out to the half a mile, see what it does. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Here we go. We're in, in the half a mile with this super light Jeep. And this big boy tire in the rear. Look at those tires. They almost barely fit the wheel well there. Pretty, pretty cool. Man, we're getting these tires hot. Reverse and forward burnouts. And uh, two ways of launching it. You can just do e-brake and gas. You don't have to press the clutch. Just e-brake gas. That front tire starts spinning like that, as you guys see. And all you got to do is let go of the clutch. And that is it. That is it. You can also do the anti-lag uh, launch control. Like, um, you can use the launch control on it as well. It'll also work with the launch control, but as you guys see, only 1700 on that weight, and then you have all of that power on this car. Look at the wheel setup, is what I really like the most. Just the way it looks, it looks super, super funny. Um, as you go over here, let's put on now the launch control and do it with the launch control. It sounds real cool with the launch control, of course. Uh, let's get these tires hot real quick, of course. As hot as you can. There we go. Just park it. E-brake gas. Now you got launch control going out there at 11 pounds of boost, higher than the RPMs. There you go. Still works. That first gear wants to spin through just a little bit more with that first gear now using the launch control. So yeah, guys. <laughs> nice leaper car. 1,300 horsepower weighs only 1,700 pounds. Man, all-wheel drive on a little, little Jeep. Can't go wrong. Look at the entire setup. Super, super dope. Hope you guys like it. Let's go to that, <laughs> to that other car. And here it is, guys. Our number four car is this Mitsubishi in the background. Really, really nice looking old school car. Kind of looks like a Mazda uh, for some reason. This is the uh, Mitsubishi Stereon. This thing here, you can put 1,300 horsepower into it. And also, it moves really good. Also, this car is really nice thousand horsepower vehicle very very op that a lot of people don't use or don't even know about uh, which makes it such a sleeper vehicle just to even have um, and it's just a great vehicle to have i honestly like the style of it it looks like a combination of the old school supra and a mazda um, and it just looks really really nice and slappy 1300 horsepower you can't go wrong this is the 1988 mitsubishi stereon esi r let's go right over here to the upgrades let's go in here to the engines and as you guys see, 1356 horsepower. Of course, you got different engines you can slap on there. All wheel drive weighs only 2,600 pounds. Can't go wrong with that, man. Can't, can't go wrong with that. Make sure to put in the twin turbos so we can use that anti lag. 
and let's go right over here let's just fully 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 build it of course put on the parts on the race as you guys see boom 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 just very easy there we go let's go over here to the suspension of course race rally the suspension and then the other parts all race full weight reduction no roll cage there you go guys let's go over here to the drivetrain make sure put that stock on there as you guys saw and then race and race and then we're gonna go right to the tire make sure to drag tires correct drag tires and uh, no width in the front full width in the rear there at 285s and then any wheels you guys want of course that are super light got those weld weds on there weld wheels let's go out here and uh, there that is it there's no other options you can do on here just force the stuff which we're not going to do and let's go right to the tune man we got 15 15 tire pressure 220 final drive 290 first gear 210 160 120 point 90 zero everything out in seven one and one we got stiff in the front soft in the rear vehicle race all the way up to the sky and we got 12 12 one and one nothing with this or this and 100 0 100 0 and 85 so let's bring it out to the half a mile see what it does here we go, here we go, here we go, guys. We are in the half a mile with the stereo. Just look at this thing. Got a two front wheel drive. Of course, got the anti lag system working on there beautifully. E brake gas. Oh, we got the launch control, which still works with the launch control. You guys see? Really nice. Make sure to get those tires hot, of course, guys. Always, always get your tires hot. As you guys see, 216 miles per hour there in the half a mile with 1300 horsepower beautiful sleeper vehicle not many people use it and it's just great to have uh, one around especially a thousand horsepower quick. But yeah if you guys want to use the launch go ahead to use the launch control just e brake gas and as you guys see the grip really nice if not uh, just go to settings right over here turn off the launch control and then we can do a 4K launch now. So now we can do a 4K launch, e-brake, gas, and clutch. At 11 pounds of boost, 5,300. And now we got a uh, stronger launch there at a higher RPM. As you guys see, this car just, it works. You know, it works. It just it fits for your needs. It just does what it wants to do properly, especially with the launch control and everything. Really, really nice. Really like this car a lot. Hope you guys got this car. And uh, yeah, let's go to the final, 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 final car. Alrighty, guys. And as you guys see in the background, it's still one of my favorite sleeper vehicles. This Porsche 968 Turbo S. This little thing, you can put so many different engines into it. And not many people know about this thing. You can use this thing for road racing. Be secretive. Uh, you can do anything with track racing. This thing here has just great engine swaps you can put in it and it's super 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 lightweight and fast making it such a nice sleeper vehicle this is oh my gosh let's go right over here to the 1993 porsche 968 turbo s upgrades let's go over here as you guys see that I put the biggest engine you can which is this hybrid four six liter v8 this is the 918 engine with the anti-lag can't go wrong and look at the rest of the engines guys you can put in this thing from rotary engines to just so many different cool engines you can put in it and yeah you got to go with that make sure to go all-wheel drive put in the uh, twin turbos you want this thing maxed out you want it to do as fast as you can there in the half a mile don't want to mess up leaving it rear wheel drive or anything like that make sure to put on the anti-lag put the raw the parts as you guys see there we go guys let's go right over here to the uh, suspension of course rally on that suspension put the rest of the parts full weight reduct this monster and uh, do not put the roll cage in it let's go right over here of course leave that stock on there race on the other two parts and let's go to the tires make sure to put the drag tires no width full width in the rear we got uh, 285s still gripping and going and uh, any wheels you guys want that is it man that is it the size of the wheels we always leave that alone no need to go uh, different in the sizes at all and there is nothing there to reduce more weight let's go right to the tune guys 15 15 tire pressure for our final drive is 220 first gear is three then we got 230 
180, 140, 110. That is it. Zero everything out in seven. One and one. And we got stiff in the front at 560. Dropped all the way in the rear. Raised all the way with the vehicle. We got 1313, one and one. Nothing with this or this. 100, zero, 100, zero, and 85. All that power staying in the rear there. Let's bring it out to the half a mile and see what it does. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Final vehicle, beautiful sleeper car. We are in the half a mile. Let's get these tires hot. Remember, reverse and forward burnouts. Just look at the car, it looks so good though. It looks really, really nice. And, uh, yeah. Let's do a Hebra gas clutch there. This guy just came around looking like a. I don't want to say it. Hebra gas clutch, let go of those two. And there you go, guys. Really, really nice back to back shifts with it. Flames coming out the rear, as you guys see. Boom, 218. You can probably get it to do about 220 there in the half a mile. Can't go wrong with it at all. Let's uh, do another pass. E brake gas clutch. Get it high there. 14 pounds of boost, 48 on the RPMs. There you go. Make sure to get those tires hot so you can grip even more. Does like 270 to top end speed. Those planes coming out the rear. It doesn't have any brakes, of course. That's how a drag car should have no brakes. <laughs> thing is fast enough that it probably needs a parachute. Let's do one final pass here. That'll sum up the sleeper cars, the top five sleeper cars that I brought out to you guys with the new anti-lag system. Oof. Nice. There you go, a 219. I'm telling you, you can do a 220s. 220s, that'd be super, super nice. Yeah. Hope you guys like the tunes, guys. Subscribe, enjoy, and I'll see all you guys around with another drag tune video. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye now.